Yo, welcome to Crash Dummies episode 1111. How many ones was that? Three. No, four. <laughs> one, 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 one. Yeah. One, 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 one is four. Oh, my bad. One, one, one. Oh, Three. you actually fucked up. One, I eleven. <laughs> I know. Anyway, um, make sure you subscribe to the Patreon. By the time you're hearing this, it's a new Patreon episode. I believe it's Patreon episode six or something like that. So exclusive on Patreon. Links in the bio. Make sure you uh, follow us on YouTube. Make sure you follow all, all of us on Instagram. I got a lot of energy. It's fight week for me. Make sure y'all uh, tune in. What we're going to do um, for people that can't make it to Green Bay, we're going to stream the fight. <laughs> On the Crash Dummies uh, YouTube page. <laughs> and I'm going to knock dude out, and then we'll be good. Yeah. Hey, that yeah. nigga snapped, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Applause for this nigga. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, turn me up. Turn me up. Turn me up. Yes, sir. Fight week. Yes, yeah, fight week. So. Yeah. Knock his ass out, you bitch ass nigga. <laughs> oh, we can cuss. Huh? We can cuss? Nah, I fucked up. Oh. But, <laughs> hey, I know a lot of y'all on the Patreon heard us talk about this, but obviously we still want to talk about it with, you know, the rest of the Gloom Squad. We talk about the uh, Lena the Plug and Adam 22 situation. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we talked about this on Patreon, but we, yeah, let's touch on it again for... Not touch on it, but... <laughs> nah, we can touch on it. Touch on... My bad, my bad. I let like Key go first. Go ahead. Key got hey, this shit hurting Key heart, man. Bro. No, Key sends us like just a context. This man <laughs> Key sends us like ten things about this every like, day. <laughs> nigga hates Adam twenty two, bro. I'm like, bro, how's you then if he admitted that he was a cuck, okay, there's nothing wrong with it. You like what you like. But to not admit that you're a cuck and you just <laughs> sat up here and enjoyed this. I think if he was a if he was considered a cuck, he would have to be in the room. Yeah, you gotta be. He said he was trainer with. Um, I think he was guy. trolling. He was trolling. He was trolling. Oh, but one thing oh. I I heard Lena the plug say that she wants Adam to jack off to the porn. I, she's trolling also. You think so? All of them are trolling you, at this point. They're you don't to, know that. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they could be getting no. freaking. She, she was saying that she was like super nervous the day of, and she kept trying to give Adam like room to like. Um, to back out if he didn't want to do it, uh -huh. or she didn't want her to do it. At that point, I feel like he's already committed to it, and then you guys. The got thing that would bother me is like you want me to back out before <laughs> you back out. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, like, bro? Oh my god! But I, I honestly wonder what how much they made. The I mean, millions. It had to be millions. Mm, like I, I would say, like over. T I would hope it's over ten million. Doing some shit like this, close to it, I, I would. I would. That's think. what I'm saying. I hope it's like up there to where like they never have to do something like this again. Oh no, they'll do it again. No, nah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> money is but money. This is gonna make money like for like for a long. But now time you on too. board now though. On board with what? This. It sounds like you're supporting it now. Supporting what? Adam Twenty Two. Yeah. Hell no. Anyways, so how much would it take for you to? Uh, a loss and someone that you're with, and stay with your girl, and, and stay. stay with him. How much would I it couldn't? Be? I couldn't do it. How much no would it money. Cost? That like somebody I, I gave know, you twenty I, million. I know niggas be like, you know, um, I forgot. I'm not, uh, but <laughs> no, I'm not doing it for no amount for of no money. For no amount of money. No, that nigga lying. Man. My wife should be priceless. If if I'm allowing another man to fuck my wife for a, any set amount of money. I'm sick. Allowing sounds crazy for some reason. I don't know why. Because you're supposed to be faithful to me. <laughs> but it's for money, though. <laughs> exactly. This. Okay, what if the roles were reversed and they offered your wife money? To what if it's one of your you? boys? What if it's like, Pat going to do it? For <laughs> <laughs> Pat going to do it for you, man. Hey, Key, I got you. I'm not just going to let no random nigga fuck your girl. <laughs> I'm right? really not doing it, nigga. Get that. Off board. Hell, not my boy, girl. Bring her over here. <laughs> nah. So if you are married then and someone offers you money to have sex with them, are you doing it? And you have to tell your wife. Mm. I had to tell her? Yeah, yeah. They offer you two million. No, no, no. You ain't got to tell her. That shit going to be posted. Yeah, it's going to be posted. It's going to be posted like, yeah. publicly? Yeah, Crash on these podcast. For 10 million? X-rated. Yeah. 
You say you do it? Yeah. You double standard. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. But I can admit that. No, nah, Key the type of nigga to expect dinner to be on the table when you get <laughs> Hell no, I ain't that far. I go to Wendy's if I need to. Keep <laughs> talking about why them dishes piling up like that. <laughs> that I would say. Because you too damn nasty. <laughs> nah, keep talking about work. <laughs> what's the worst you place? You are at work. Key, what's the worst place you ever took a girl on the first date? Now, like looking back on it now, or looking back on it, like yeah. for the first date. Not yeah. looking back at it, like the back worst. On it. <laughs> <laughs> this man can just never let a conversation go. You can go ahead. The worst in general, or like like the worst overall date. Just or? the worst. Now you you look back and you be like, damn, I was tripping for taking yeah. her there. I guess one time. No, not I guess one time. <laughs> I was talking to this girl, but I didn't want to do anything with her. Like all I, I only wanted to smash. So <laughs> did I didn't want to do anything, but, but I want to smash. But I, I ain't thought that's what he meant. You, I thought that's a relationship. You said what? I was talking about like no relationship. Oh, and like okay. And she was like, um, "Yeah, or, are you going to take me somewhere?" And then I'm like, "Damn, I don't want to be seen with her." So I'm like, "We can go to Speedway." They got food, <laughs> and we went to the Speedway. On the north side? <laughs> <laughs> nah, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That's a homeless ass day. <laughs> nah, I feel like a homeless dude. That's what he would do. The if he found another way. homeless girl and said, you know what? Roll with me into this speedway. Get anything you want from like the, all the cook foods and shit. Speedway is crazy, Key. <laughs> Bro, I had a problem with like, I didn't want like spending money on girls that like I didn't like. Yeah. Unless I like liked you, liked you. But I'm like, damn, I'm gonna have to spend something. No, my shit was my shit was way worse. What was yours? So I thought like I was a I was a senior in high school and I was just like, oh, I'm gonna invite this girl to my baseball game. What was that regionals, blah blah. So my first at bat, it was going up against a pitcher that actually got drafted. So my first at bat, I swung three times and missed, and this nigga struck me out, and I realized like, damn, she seen me flailing at this ball. <laughs> <laughs> So I went up to bat about three more times. Nigga, I ain't swing. I got walked twice and struck out one more time. Nigga, I ain't swing for the rest of the day. I said, yeah, she ain't going to see this. <laughs> Bro, I remember, I remember I was wrestling in high school, and then it was our first home meet, right? And I don't know why the first, because every time, you know, we wear those tight-ass spandex uh, in wrestling and shit. So I'm like, fuck. I need to do something so my shit's not showing. <laughs> so at least it looks like you know, I just didn't want to see my shit's gonna be on soft the whole time. Now so. that's corny. <laughs> you gonna see my shit on soft. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a grower, not a shower, bitch. You never was scared of that. What? I was so scared, bro. Somebody, huh? I wore a cup. Hell no. Nah. I wore a cup. I whack off in the cafeteria. Somebody think, okay, you think shit's sweet, huh? That's what my wait. What's that got to do with me? I'm hey, soft. Somebody, Everybody go see me hard. Right, somebody, went, somebody I went to Who school. think I'm small? <laughs> somebody I went to school actually did that. Got in the girl milk. I ain't playing with you. <laughs> somebody got in trouble for that school. What? Doing that. So girls calling this shit small. So he whooped this shit out and 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 uh during cafeteria. You know, I just be saying jokes. That nigga a freak. No, no, he went to it was like actual like a real thing. Nah, he should go to jail. Yeah, he went to jail for that yeah, shit. Yeah, that's like that's weird as it's, it's weird. Bro. Mine is just like metaphorically yeah. like you think my shit's small. I used to think like that. Like whipping my shit out in, in, in kindergarten where girls used to be say that, but I was like, nah, I'm gonna go my ass. Nah, a girl saying that in a kindergarten. That is the same. What? I'm going in third grade. Wait a minute. I'm like, bitch, I'm not. Like, what <laughs> you expect? <laughs> fuck is you talking about? <laughs> talking about my shit small, of course. <laughs> well, who dicks you see? Like, <laughs> Why you see them? You like see them? <laughs> you need help? <laughs> <laughs> fuck is going on? <laughs> no, I seen. Um, so me and Q were just watching this video, and this dude called. <clears throat> Another dude, Mangy, <laughs> but there was talking shit before, and he called him every other word in the book, and then when he said Mangy, it kind of triggered him, and then that made me think like, damn, everybody has their trigger word, 
right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm trying to think, like, what is my trigger word? Because I would be saying a lot of shit. I can get into it with anybody, whatever, whatever you're trying to do. You're trying to fight, whatever. We could do whatever. Yeah. Like, if you want to take it there. But it's like one word where I got to ask you, why you say that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, bitch-ass nigga. Nigga, shut the fuck up. You a hoe-ass nigga. You ain't never going to be shit. Bitch-ass nigga. Nigga, you weird. Why you say that? <laughs> Why you? What you mean on weird? Like weird? How? <laughs> you trying to get to the bottom of it? Yeah. Because nigga, like a nigga call you weird, like nigga, you weird. It's like we being called weird is kind of like all right. Like nigga, weird? explain yourself. Yeah, like, like you want to like? That's why. That's why somebody call you a bitch. It's like all right, that's yeah. an insult. Like, nigga, all I did is kill your cousin. Nigga, how am I weird though? <laughs> I can be weird. I, I I would love for somebody to call me weird instead of like anything else. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, or like somebody call you like a pervert or something. Pervert's crazy. <laughs> I hate a perv out of nowhere, especially when you're not one, <laughs> bro. You oh, know, you know, don't want to defend yourself so bad. Yeah, <laughs> you know the worst prank I seen. What? This dude. So he invited his friend somewhere, and they were standing in line for a club, and they were just like, they all pulled a camera out on him, and they're like, "This guy's here to meet a 15 year old girl." This guy's here to meet a fit yeah. and they started recording him. And I was like, bro, that's the worst prank. Somebody. Oh, they were just to a random person? Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, yeah, I would have strangled him. Yeah, yeah, It would have been fisticus. <laughs> but, hey, but everybody think like, oh, no, nah, because he got caught. Nah. <laughs> nah. It would it, it would it would he would caught he would have caught a couple. That's some shit I would like legit fight somebody over. 100%. You ain't got no choice. Because <laughs> if you like walk away, they'd be like, oh, nigga, you did it? It's not that, yeah, it seemed like you're like nervously walking away from a situation. I also seen this video of these girls, right? They was arguing with these dudes and it looked like they was at like an expensive restaurant. And basically the girls was just saying, Y'all, we all splitting the bill. I think the bill's like fucking forty six hundred dollars. It was at an expensive ass restaurant, it looked like it was like ten of them, you know, four sixty a person type shit. So the dudes get to point out what the girls got. Like you got lamb chops and shit, and they, all we got is like chicken and shit. So, I always found that super weird. That pe like, I've never been out to eat with somebody, and like thought like I don't even want to split the bill with them, or they crazy enough to like order oh, some crazy shit. I, I saw that video. I didn't hear. I, I didn't have sound. Can you explain it again? So the bill came out forty six hundred dollars, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. and, and how many of them were there? Like about like. 10. About 10 of them, whatever. Right. Let's just say it's 10. And you can see the girls like, oh, we just all splitting the bill. Everybody's saying 460 You know what I'm saying? And the dude's like, hell no. Like, my meal is $100. Your meal's $600 because you got all this shit. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, what are the rules in that situation? It's tough. <laughs> One is like, if y'all having that conversation, y'all can't be as close as y'all think y'all yeah. is. Because like, you know, like, it, I mean, obviously it's different with us. Yeah. But, like, if we didn't have a business together, you know for sure, like, we're splitting it right down the middle. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, it's just, like... That's the real nigga thing to do. Yeah. But... But... Don't go order it, <laughs> niggas. You I, know he's splitting it. You see that I'm on some regular shit. Like, I'm watching what he orders. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got the same fucking account, and I'm watching what he orders. Right. And I'm like, I'm going to just match that same energy. But I know if he like, yeah, I'm getting Chipotle, and I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm at the steakhouse. We even. And then hang up. <laughs> Fuck, nigga. Big ass tomahawk. Nigga, steak. my appetizer costs more than this fucking exactly. whole meal. Like, hell no. So, like, because the difference between paying $100 and 400 is kind of, like, steep. If I say I only got $100 worth of uh, an item. And I'm watching you order the shit. Yeah. And it'd be fucked up if I'm like, yeah, I take a salad. And well, like, what, blah, if you, blah. what if you see somebody else ordering $400 worth of stuff, but you still don't want to spend $400? Exactly. So now, if I think about splitting the bill, if that's even in the back of my head, I definitely got to go lower. Yeah. Because I want the, the split bill to be lower. Yeah. So I'm fucked either way. So you put me in a bad position. And you knew... You couldn't pay for your own meal. So what if everybody ordered that? Could mm -hmm. you pay that difference? And that's what I would ask that person. Because you So who's complaining in the The girls? And you, what, what, and they were well the dudes was complaining to the to the girls. <laughs> that they ordered less food? The girls ordered like more food than the guys. And the guys like, why would we split the bill like that? Why mm -hmm. would we just pay for what we what we had, which yeah. I'm all for, which I'm all for too. Because somebody, I thought some, I saw some. If it's like a big group and I don't know everybody, like 
Everybody just pay for what they got. Like, I saw the quote, especially if I don't know nobody, I'm definitely not paying down. The, <laughs> not, I'm the literally <laughs> paying what I got, but and I'm paying twenty percent of the tip. Besides, if it's like a birthday dinner, usually if you go to a birthday dinners with a whole bunch of people you know, so you just order and just make sure the, the whoever's birthday, the birthday is, person, yeah, doesn't, and everybody can split. Usually, you split stuff down the middle. But at that point, everybody's getting kind of the similar shit. Like well, we're not, we getting shared appetizers type of shit. Like hella appetizers. Yeah, everybody help themselves type of shit, and you get your main yeah, course but, meal. But to be be doing that shit, you know, people be doing that shit when they go to, um, you know, a lot of people have different ideas of what's supposed to happen on a vacation. Like a lot of people can. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people bro, can't stop. Our feet just touched. Stop swinging. I just want to like ignore it, bro. I know. Don't touch my feet. <laughs> you got your fucking flip flops and touch bro, the bottom of my shoes. Why are you exposing shoes? me like that, nigga? That niggas can't see my feet on I don't camera. Give a fuck, nigga. Take them bitches off. And you got them Jesus sandals on, nigga. <laughs> hey, I know you. You just want me to put my foot. Go up. ahead, put your foot up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, I forgot what I was saying. I know. That's why I did it on purpose. What was I saying? I don't know. Good. We moving on. <laughs> no, I just think people look at do vacations differently. Yeah. Like a lot of people think that they're supposed to. I don't get why people think they're supposed to get on a vacation and eat out all three meals. You know what I'm saying? I mean, unless that's your like, yeah. unless that's what you go there for. But everybody, just make sure everybody in your group is on that. Yeah. yeah exactly. like, don't be like, we going there. I hate a nigga with an itinerary. Like <laughs> that shit. <laughs> Bruh, there's no way I'm about to do 10 things in one day. I don't care if I'm in fucking. Like Cancun, yeah. Turks. No. I tried that, bro, with like a day full of activity. That shit just get tiring. I just like going on vacation and then maybe doing one or two things a day. Uh, two things a day. Stay longer than you yeah, broke ass exactly. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me broke because you want to do 10 things in a day. Like even when we went to AZ, there was a day we just <clears throat> stayed at the pool. Like, man, it's okay to just relax. And that was be the day like, we didn't go nowhere. <laughs> That's how I know you niggas ain't got no responsibilities at home. <laughs> Y'all niggas don't even want to chill. <laughs> That's what I thought. Nigga. Um, so I was just thinking like how life is way more dangerous now. Way, way more dangerous now. And it has nothing to do with, like, what's going on in the world. It's just, like, the knowledge of, like, what you have is mm -hmm. happening. Because I remember, like, being in the hood, like, fucking 13, 14, phone fucking dead, uh, riding my bike just through the hood at yeah. fucking 2 a.m. Just because I could. Mm -hmm. But now I be driving in the suburbs looking over my shoulder talking about, Man. why this nigga following me? It's different because... <laughs> like, this nigga not following you. Because <laughs> inherently... Y'all live next to each other. I think inher inherently as kids, you know people not really looking to kids to get their get back on type of shit. Right, exactly. Especially back then. Now it's like, it's this doggy dog world out there. Nah, that's a fucked up world, man. But like, especially back then, it's like, you felt, you had that type of like... uh the ignorance protection type of thing because you yeah. didn't know what the fuck was going on. As long as they're not your age, they're not gonna jump. Exactly. You know what I'm and, saying? It, like, and the worst was gonna happen is you get jumped. Yeah. Like you're not gonna. Uh, it was very rare. Even in Chicago when I grew up it was like there was a lot of gun violence and shit like that, but it wasn't really like so much gun violence in terms of like kids below like 15. I would say. Right. I get what you're saying. Yeah. For like you can if. You had your choice. Exactly. Like, if you were younger, you had a choice. Like, damn, I can stay out of all this, and them dudes won't bother me probably until I'm, like, a junior senior. Yeah. But if you, like, younger, younger, nobody messing with you if you kind of stay out the way. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. But now, shit. Is it a freaking nine-year-old stick you up? I swear, bro. <laughs> it was a little um, nine-year-old in our studio garage, bro. Yeah. A little nigga. That's what I told you. He's talking about, oh, help me key in here. I forgot my key. Like, little nigga, what number you live in? That's what I thought. You don't live here. No, he was trying to take, tell me to open his, a package that he, t he probably took. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what he was trying to do, yeah. He said his so, name was like, I was like, what's the, what's, what's the name on the package? He said, Alex. I said, he said, Zach or some shit. <laughs> Mind you, I don't know too many black kids named Zach. <laughs> I'm like, bro, but it's one of those things you kind of felt weird. It's like, what, what are you gonna do? Like, am I gonna call the cops on this uh, little kid? Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, listen to this. Key, I didn't even know. Did you know Kiki Palmer performed songs? Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. Wasn't she on Nickelodeon? Kiki Palmer. She yeah. was everywhere. Yeah. Disney Channel. Disney Channel. This, this Kiki Palmer uh, performer. Booties 
Little booties matter. My son gave me some ass. Because she was pregnant. And oh. she got thick, I guess. That's a that's a bar, though? That's, <laughs> this is a real song? That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know, bro. This is crazy. You know, like, I just want to get on the right side. Kiki can do whatever she wants. No, yeah, she can. That was an ass, yeah. though. More, more. Oh, shit, shit was, was terrible. <laughs> Dookie. <laughs> Dookie. But it's still Kiki Palmer, though. No, I love Kiki Palmer. Akilah and the B? That's so disrespectful. What? Bro. bro, that show, that movie is so iconic, bro. Had me trying to think I was going to the spelling bee, and if I did that tapping shit, I was yeah. gonna get better. <laughs> that shit didn't work for me. Hell no, nah. that, that shit almost landed me in special ed. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga can't sing and he tapping. Like, <laughs> nigga cannot spell. I mean, this nigga can't spell any tapping. I said sing. Oh, with the um, remember we talked about the Jonah Hill thing? Yeah. So I discovered that that the woman that accused him of being abusive, which he was abusive regardless, that. This was a while, this was a while ago, like some years ago, mm. and Jonah Hill's already like remarried and has a kid and shit like that. So, you, so that's old. It's old. You know, what I was thinking because we talked about it last night. Um, maybe like something expired to where that she could put that off. Yeah, maybe she had signed an agreement because I feel like. When she got in a relationship or something, she had to sign something. Or she just wanted to show, like, how much of an asshole he is. And now, right, maybe he did something. Because she's a model, and the one person that he's with now is n- not a model. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he found somebody that was, um, I don't know, less out there, I fits guess. Fits his requirements. Yeah, fits his requirements. That, the thing, you know, the worst thing about that Jonah Hill thing was that he did a whole Netflix series about... Mental health And basically was his therapy session with his therapist I mean that's why he had a therapist Yeah but it's like I hate when you like That's why like people like Ellen DeGeneres um, What's the other British guy's name That does carpool karaoke You know what you're talking about Corden, James Corden Yeah Like all of them now are not as popular anymore Because of They gave off the I'm always happy, joyful Like can do no wrong type of attitude Right when I would love to be around that guy. Yeah, when it's like you're not that in person. And that's why I love like about this podcast because all of us are ourselves. None of us are acting like we're perfect yeah. or like we're always happy. I said and I was swing on God. <laughs> Vulnerable. <laughs> I so say, again, I hate when people bring that up like you. I said I was swing on God. I ain't say I never said I would hit God. <laughs> he should he should see it coming. <laughs> he know everything. <laughs> <I'll> move on. <laughs> You know everything. No, that'd be crazy though. <laughs> bro, no, we're not we're not doing this here. Keep what you gotta say, bro. No, no, no. No, you no, know what'd be crazy no, though? No, no. Cause you know I like, you know, I support oh I support God. the I support the 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 gay community, trans community. But it's always tend to, anytime somebody ooh. says that shit, there's some bullshit coming after that. Right after. <laughs> hey. Bro, I support you, but No, no, no. I support the uh but I gotta the, tell a joke. the gay community, the trans community, but it would be crazy if, like, I was in line at, like, Heaven's Gates, and I was, like, in towards the front, and I just seen them start, like, dumping them niggas down. I will just be like, yo. They <laughs> 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 not let y'all niggas in. <laughs> it's fucked up, bro. <laughs> Me either? <laughs> What the fuck I do? <laughs> Try to give fuck me. <laughs> what? Hey, I supported him. Y'all that's some bullshit. How are you supposed to know what's wrong is what's right? Oh my god. Y'all oh it. man. Man, listen, you let like, listen again. <laughs> nah, dry stitches. <laughs> that's In hate. heaven, that's foul. That, that's hate. <laughs> Can I see that nigga foul? Like y'all missing stuff. Y'all missing whole three years. This nigga did a bit. <laughs> Y'all can't see in prison? No. <laughs> he killed three niggas in prison. I can't. He said, no, nah, I really, I took that charge from him right here, right here. That wasn't even me. <laughs> this, this nigga, right? And let me fix this for you. <laughs> let me drag this to this nigga file. Nah, doing an audit on somebody's life is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> now, a, li- a life audit? <laughs> now, see, seeing, a, seeing a nigga that know about your life as a guardian angel when you get up there has got to be the most fucked up feeling. <laughs> oh, this nigga know everything. <laughs> he already looking at you like... <laughs> <laughs> no 
Come on, bro. He said, me, you're not getting in, bro. Let me in that bitch, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I always thought about the concept of like, you know how they, they the concept of heaven gates where it's a long line yeah. for the gates. I always thought that was a dumb concept because like, if you're not getting in, what's the point of fucking waiting in line to get told no? It's like waiting at the DMV and shit like that. And then you wait in DMV for your ID and say, hey. You can't get your ID today type of shit. It's like, bro, nah, what was the point? That's it's, why I feel just like... send me straight there. It's like you added suspense. That's why I feel like heaven is... That's why I feel like the line is... The line is for people <laughs> that ain't, you know, proven to God that they ready yet. So they got one more audition? So, no, I'm just saying they got to stand <laughs> in line. Audition. And they, maybe they, they soul running around earth trying to fix what they <laughs> going. And then the people, you know, that's... The people that's automatically in, you see like some of the pastors walk straight in, like glory, and then they walking in and shit like that. Then it's your uncle and they jumping that nigga straight down. Like it's just <laughs> fucked out, <down>, nigga. <laughs> we know what you did. <laughs> Little booty warrior. <laughs> he was in prison. We know what you was doing in prison, man. <laughs> you see he has a wife now? I he want you. Jail. Yeah, he mad about that video. He said Ooh. he mad about the the booty warrior. Ooh. I want you and I'ma get you. And we can do this the easy way. Oh, oh the was that the from dude from Beyond Scare Straight too? No, that was the dude from Boondocks. Boondocks, but he wasn't on Beyond. <laughs> they would never have him on Beyond Scare Straight. That'd be bold. that'd be crazy. He'd be busting cheeks for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Anyway, let's get to some listening callers. Hello. Yo, what's the deal? Yeah, what it do? What it do? You on Crash Dummies podcast, my boy? Oh man, maybe we made it. <laughs> <laughs> my if you could replace war with any other physical activity, what would it be? Hot dog eating contest. You crushing everybody. Joey Chestnut. Y'all ever see how the motherfuckers spring? <laughs> they be doing like little, like, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I wish Joey Chestnut was a girl. Just think about it, Joey Chestnut. <laughs> 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 no. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, if Joey Chestnut was a girl, he'd be like, hi, the number one only fan. Real shit. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga has sucked the shit out of Glizzy. But no, no, y'all gotta go watch uh, uh, y'all gotta watch how they train, bro. Like they be doing like little shit, like what boxers be doing with their neck. Like when they be lifting that motherfucker up and down and shit, yeah. they be like stretching that the whole of their mouth and shit. Then <laughs> y'all know like the inside of your like your cheeks and shit. Like if you rub your fucking in your cheeks, that's what pussy feel like. Real shit. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie, got hours and hours of research and watching uh, the hot dog. Eating nah, you're <laughs> fucking. <laughs> you're, you're, your search history is disgusting. <laughs> You know, bro, like America would win hot dog eating We only ones that eat hot dogs for real, so we would never lose. We would never lose. We don't even want to go to the world. We got joint chestnut on the way. He'd be like Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> Captain America eating hot dogs. Like, that's the only one that eats hot dogs. Like, that's the only one that eats hot dogs. That nigga get purple hearts and all different types. That's <laughs> All different prices. Oh, hell yeah, boy. I thought you'd count this for sure. You got that straight chili dog contest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you know about your deal. Who was feeling? You ever see Joey Chester put 50 of them bitches in his mouth at the same time? So I wish he was a girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crazy thing to think about, about my girl. Oh, Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike, I always want to ask you this question. So niggas call you right. Fat Mike, right? So, right. so why why they call you Fat Mike? Because obviously you're a bigger guy, but like, what happens if you lose weight? Would people still call you Fat Mike? So it really was Fat Ass Mike. Because <laughs> uh, really, really, Mike win, Mike win. You would give me the weight. He was uh, skinny. And so you feel me? They just couldn't figure out, you know what I'm saying, which Mike they're talking about. So his mama really nicknamed him Skinny Ass Mike, Fat Ass Mike. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Kids wasn't going to say ass. But yeah. Fat Mike just said, you feel me? Then they just started calling Mike Lynn. They never just started calling me Michael, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. So when did yeah, really the, 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 the ass part drop? When the kids had to say, they weren't going to say Fat Ass Mike. We was like five. Like, how the fuck? He decided to call me fat ass Mike. And why the fuck my mama ain't saying nothing? You know, we stayed next birth to each other like for like 10 years. So he used to be skinny Mike. I used to be fat Mike. 
That nigga still skinny. I'm still fat. I don't understand why y'all don't call him skinny, Mike. <laughs> 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 Crazy shit. I got fat hair. I need to call me fat hair, Mike. Boy, I was, hey, you see the picture from the wood? That damn thing look like, uh, uh, fucking, what's it called? What's, uh, what's that one movie we know for Seven Twelve? But that he was that I got a move away. I'm six miles, but I think I ran a quarter mile. Quarter to the day. Quarter mile. Quarter mile. I think I was screaming in the day. That's the hell the hottest fuck you been doing that shit, dog. Running six miles. Fucking shit out of it. I know you do. I'm sorry. That shit. He don't even six miles a day. Man, if six miles a day, I'm telling me, go ahead and live this out. I got nothing for you, man. That nigga is fucking the dog shit out of you. I'd be fired. <laughs> All right, bro. I right, appreciate you coming on, bro. All right, guys. All right, peace. All right, brody. How we doing? How we doing, man? I'm in a bad mood. This nigga got me in a bad mood. I don't say nothing. Bro, crazy. what up? Welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast. How's oh, now you in a bad mood because I'm in a bad mood. This nigga, like a stop, soft ass bro. thing. <laughs> Trying to gain momentum, cuz. Bro, Pat always does. That's this. crazy. You know, How niggas you know. in a bad mood on a Sunday, you bro? Know. That's insane. Nigga, shut you up. shut up, you <laughs> whole ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so I got a question for you. Yo, what's up? What's the worst date you've ever been on? All right, so look, this is. This is my absolute epitome of date. And I, I, I'm scarred for life by this shit. So pre-COVID time, I linked with Shorty from Tinder. Now, Shorty's pictures, they was fire. You know what I'm saying? But she didn't have any videos. You know, they were full body pictures. She, she was cute. So I was like, hey, listen, let's go get some ice cream. You know, chill a little first date, get to know Shorty. She pulled up. And I don't know if niggas know, a Mazda 7 is like a manual car. So this is just mm-hmm. kind of relevant to the story. She get out the car. And I swear to God on my dog's life. <laughs> like, man, he died in his sleep. She had a limp leg. Now, I I didn't know, like, maybe if it was just a long drive or her leg <laughs> fell asleep. But I, like, I genuinely, it was limp. So when she walked over to me, like, it drugged. Like, y'all know, um, like, the Michael Jackson, like, thriller video. You know, he was like, it's just a thrill. Like, the leg was, like, non-existent. So I'm trying to be a good person. I'm like. I was horny. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm gonna say this through, you know. <laughs> she's cute. She's cute. Oh, maybe she has an explanation. Like maybe she was shot or like I don't know, car accident, something. <laughs> so whole time, everybody in the ice cream parlor is looking at her drag this bitch up to the front, and I'm like, fuck. <sighs> is it worth it at this point? Like, is it, is it worth my dignity? <laughs> so we sit down, I'm talking to Shirley. We having a conversation. I'm like, yeah. I'm, Plans on going to Japan, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And not once did she mention the shit. I end up getting ghosted, right? How you gonna ghost me? I'm doing you a favor, but that's crazy. Like I'm I'm out here sticking my leg out for you. You the one with the, the, the and she I never once asked her and she never once mentioned it. I kept her on social media for a couple more months just to see if maybe she'll post a video like Maybe she, I don't know, maybe she thought I was ugly or something. She was like, fuck, I got to get out this day. I'm not an ugly dude. So I, was, I was confused, man. Nah, she, she faked that limp because she was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you got ghosted nah, by a handicap. No, nah, she wasn't handicapped. She looked, she saw you when she pulled up. She said, how can I get this nigga never to hit me back again? She drugged her <laughs> leg so she wouldn't have to go on another date with you. That's and now so that I think crazy. about it, it was two handicapped parking spots open and she parked like towards the back. So I know. <laughs> <laughs> she had to get her act together. She's like, should I do right leg or should I do left leg for this nigga? Because I never want to nah, see bro, him again. If she did that, if she played that shit off, that was the greatest act. I'm talking. That was Denzel Washington, Will Smith, Pursuit of Happiness. Like, so what you guys talk actor, about bro. during ice cream? So she goes to you after you guys got ice cream. Like she never want yeah, so text you back. The date was cool. I mentioned, I was like, yeah, I'm take, I'm uh, planning on taking a trip to Japan here, et cetera, et cetera. I made a little joke and was like, oh, like, you know, can I see you again after I get back? She even joked and was like, ha-ha, if you make it back alive, because this was like a little bit before COVID, so, mm-hmm. you know, things was getting ready to get hot. But she was joking, like, yeah, like, oh, if you make it back alive, ha-ha, we'll see. She kept me on social media, would like swipe up occasionally on pics and make conversations. But yeah, I just... I ended up on adding her because I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and waste my time with you on social media. Plus, you're not going to, I don't want to ask what's going on with your leg. And I know if I keep you on here, I'm going to be tempted to be like, did you get shot? Like, did you get your, what happened? Like, were you just born like that? 
if she never posted any videos of her walking. So that's what I was trying to look for. What I'm trying to ask you is is the is her other leg the same size as her other leg? Yeah, they was both the same. Then she and was like, faking. I ain't gonna lie. She was faking because if she very, had a limp leg, it wouldn't grow no more. No, look, I'm very detail oriented. Like I pay attention to little things, and one of her shoes was like the limp shoe was like gone. Like that bitch was like <laughs> it's been drugged through the mud and back type shit. Like it had a lot Damn. more wear and tear than the other one. So I did notice okay, that. Okay, so, so this like, limp, this limping thing is just uh, makes you just meeting a whole bunch of ugly dudes. Yeah, I know her Maybe. snow. I know her snow footprint is hilarious. <laughs> Look like somebody but shoveled like, in this bitch. <laughs> Who shoveled? Like, I mentioned she drove a six shift car because I'm like, if her leg really fucked up, how the fuck did she manage to yeah. drive here with both legs? But Burn, that's crazy. This, <laughs> fucking that clutch up. <laughs> yeah. Wait, how'd she one get out the car? Cool. One fast, <laughs> one fast ass leg. Then <laughs> now nah, you look and she got her. Uh, she don't notice that her leg caught in the door. <laughs> Oh my god! In the elevator, <laughs> that shit was insane, man. That shit was insane, but shit. that's that's probably the worst. That's that's got a top two, if not two. <laughs> All right, bro. Appreciate you coming on, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, peace. Yo, welcome to Crash Me's podcast. What's good? Uh, oh my, my what? bed. What? It's three. It's three a.m. Oh, where are you? 3 a.m. Where are you at? Thailand? Yeah. Australia. Oh, Australia. Yeah. 3 a.m. is crazy. Why you pick up? <laughs> <laughs> That's let's, cool. Holiday. Let's ask them. Let's ask them the question so you can get back to sleep. It's a holiday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, fuck this nigga time zone. <laughs> I never said a dude so happy at 3 a.m. You should not be laughing this this early, bro. Y'all but trying to be quiet. <laughs> um, what do you miss most? You what what do you miss most about being single? Um high quality jerking off. Huh? High quality jerking off? Yeah. Like self jerking? Like in, yeah, like everyone knows like girls is like sound that good. So right. the girl you're with right now isn't good. Do you, you try to help as, her out you, you, as yourself? No, I just she's just not good at all. Like everyone knows how like your hand is like like your penis is contorted to your hand, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get what you're saying. You know, nobody can make a milkshake better than you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You make your own milkshake the best. That's a, that's the analogy I heard somebody use. That's a terrible analogy, by the way. <laughs> that is a terrible analogy. Who told you that? <laughs> I just try to help this thing out. Wait, so have you told your girl that she's not good? No, she not. But like, she doesn't want to like suck it either. You know. She's she like, she doesn't want to what? She doesn't want to what? Like, fuck it. She doesn't want to suck She's it? Like, oh, yeah, oh, there's too much cheese or whatever. Like, come on, just do it. Too yeah. much cheese? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you, your accent and you talking low is making it hard to understand everything. Cheese? You, you said cheese? Yeah. What's, yeah. What is cheese? Cheese, you know? <laughs> like, that's what Australia is called, like semen. Nah. Oh, what the Look fuck are you talking cheese. about? Then, <laughs> 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 if it's not that, then what the fuck are you talking about? Foolskin cheese. Foolskin cheese. I, I don't know what you're saying. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, like. <laughs> I can't understand you. There's definitely a language barrier here. <laughs> we trying to cross it. You're not helping at all, nigga. You're, this shit is terrible. <laughs> all I hear is fucking cheese. Is that what Fulking. you said? What does that mean? <laughs> Foreskin cheese. Foreskin oh. cheese. Wait, you're un- oh, you're uncircumcised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you mad? Oh, you are. Okay, that makes sense. You don't want to suck no burrito, dick ass nigga. <laughs> I hate that 
that we have to do all that to get to the bottom of this shit. Bro, I think this brother got a turtleneck. <laughs> I think this nigga got a turtleneck. And they got Lenten shit in his dick. <laughs> <So good. laughs> oh, man. All right, man. You get some sleep, man. Nigga, dick look like a push pop that ain't been pushed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Appreciate you coming on, bro. Uh, hey, I got a tip. For, I thank got a tip you. for you, though. Yeah, I'm just playing. I ain't got one. You ain't got one either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got so no you tip to the shit. <laughs> no, I, said, I ain't got no tip for him. He ain't got no tip for real. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't got no tip for him. No. Paul. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Wow, Pause. that's crazy. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> we both ain't fucking each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! What it is, man? What it is? What's it? <laughs> no much. What's the deal? You said what? Oh, you said not much. You just said it sounded like one syllable. Yeah, it sounded like you said no much. <laughs> my shot. Hey, bro, don't be talking about the way I talk, dog. It's just how I get. You understand the hell I just said, right? Damn, where are you from? Florida. Oh, your shit fucked. Let me hear you talk. Where again? in Florida? Like Tallahassee, some shit? I ain't got it. Hell no. Down south, bro, a lot of deer. Oh, Fort Lauderdale. Broward County. Yeah, yeah, Broward County, 954. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know somebody from there. Everybody. Oh, that? <laughs> now, shout out to Kiki. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm at work where y'all call, bro, so I had to hurry up and answer my manager over here looking at me. <laughs> where, where you work at? This nigga sound like he work on a uh, plantation talking about his manager looking at him. <laughs> no, I, I'm a prop, I'm a assistant to a property manager. You assistant to what? Oh, we property manager. We asking him all this. Might as well ask him a question. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, he ain't answering no question. He said he got a story for us. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, bro, because I ain't know what the hell the damn topic was. Anything. Just ask had, <laughs> that nigga can't read. It's on the story. Man, Go ahead. Well, no, no, I'm saying because I, cause I, I, I be watching y'all podcast. Then uh, every time y'all drop some new shit, so I'm like, damn, they always talking on some damn. I'm like, let me go ahead and see what the hell I got. Seen a bucket list one. Bro, I promise you, I'm a bucket list, bro. I won't fuck with bitches from all different kind of states. Not even no bitch from Jacksonville, Florida, bro. That is, that is the absolute garbage of the damn bitches out there, bro. <laughs> that is a dumpster. That is a dumpster city of bitches, bro. What what city? Jacksonville. Jacksonville, Duval County, bro. <laughs> Listen, bro. I done came across a bitch that took me up through there, bro. What happened? All right, so damn, bro. It's the longest. All right, so about about a year, a year and a half ago, right? I met this one bitch. Uh, so I was stationed in the military out here, and. This bitch, I had met her. Uh, she had moved. I, I didn't know she had a boyfriend. And I, so I'm putting everything together. This bitch had a nigga that was in jail the whole time, bro. While I'm fucking her, bro. And I'm like, bro, there's no way, bro. So I got I, I got a kid, too. So after like a year and a half, bro, I had introduced her to my jit. And I'm like, okay, well, they started kicking it off. Everything was cool and whatnot, bro. Man, tell me how, like, this past May, like the first week, bro. On a Monday night, I was at her crib, bro. And... You know what I'm saying? We smoking, we chilling, doing whatever, yada. And I end up fucking her. Tuesday night, I go back over there, bro. And this bitch had the nerve to tell me that her nigga getting out of jail in two hours, bro. It's like 10 o'clock at night. You mean to tell me this nigga getting out of jail in two hours, bitch? You finna text me that shit? And then on top of that, bro, the nigga got out with a sex offender charge. Bitch, my fucking daughter's in the damn room sleep. And you want to tell me two hours before this nigga get out of jail that this nigga got a sex offender charge? You to, Bitch, I should beat your ass right now. So I was like, nah, went ahead, grabbed my shit, got up out of there, bruh. So then this bitch decided to go make, she make a, 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 a fake IG page, bruh, and started messaging, messaging me from there. I'm like, bitch, you crazy as hell, bruh. This nigga got all my information in your phone because you want to be a little dumbass little rat. You get me caught up in your bullshit. But that ain't even the crazy part, bruh. So I was telling all my homeboys about the shit because she, she knew all my homeboys. So, like, I want to say from, like, mid-February to about, like, the first week of May, I was fucking this bitch every single day, bro. Sometimes three times a day for, for the entire time, bro. I swear to God, bro. The nigga took her back, bro. I'm like, bro, there's no way in hell you told that nigga everything, bro. If you told that nigga what I did to you, bro, you would not be together right now, bro. I was, I was disrespecting this whole, bro. 
I'm talking about. Nigga, I was pissing on her in the shower. Oh. I was sitting on her in the mouth. But nigga, I was doing <laughs> Ain't no way the hell that nigga took. You lied to that nigga. That's all I know. You lied to him. Because ain't no nigga in that right mind gonna take a good breath, bro. I don't know. Whatever pussy was left, bro, was just left. I knocked the shit out of that motherfucker. <laughs> I swear to God, bro, these bitches raunchy as hell, bro. They're Man, you could have told me some shit. <laughs> <laughs> They're raunchy. Nah, you, like, I get, like, she nasty for getting peed on, but you didn't nigga that peed on her. Like, <laughs> I don't <laughs> <laughs> bro, listen, 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 bro, listen. If she like it, she like it. Oh man, ain't nothing wrong with that. No... <laughs> <All right, bro. laughs> hey, nigga, hey, pee in the stall, yeah. nigga. <laughs> bro, it was in the shower, bro. We was in the shower. So it was going down the drain, anyway. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> Hey, don't knock it. Sorry, bro. Hey, I'm, hey, I'm knocking the shit out of that bitch. The fuck out of right now. <laughs> <laughs> Might knock that bitch Devontae out. Davis, <laughs> boy, you lie, boy, you lie. All right, hey, all right, all right, bro. All right. Peace. Do you guys want to hear my worst sex experience? I don't know. Um, that's why I, <laughs> ain't that crazy? <laughs> you a wild nigga. So. I'm not too sure, but this is a podcast, so I guess so. They do. <laughs> they do. They probably do. Go ahead. So. A long, long, long time ago. <laughs> I got to specify and long. That, this nigga is 21, so you know, like, this nigga is lying. <laughs> Let's get that out the way. <laughs> nigga talk about long ago, nigga, nigga. A long time ago, nigga. Go. Oh, a long time ago. Last year, nigga. <laughs> Last year this time, nigga. <laughs> nah, hell no. <laughs> no, I was like... I was like, or hypothetically, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hypothetically, you, you sure. Hypothetical. Hypothetical. You only get one a sure. podcast. Though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your hypothetical one works better. I'm saving it. This nigga is annoying. Ah, come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so basically, right? Um, sneak this. I mean, I get snuck in to this girl's house. And um, everything going good, you know, we we fucking and stuff. And then next thing you know, I look down in the bed, and I see something moving. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? Right, what is that crawling right there? Why the fuck is it a bed bug? <laughs> <laughs> a fucking bed bug. <laughs> nigga, you sleeping in this spot. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga looked up, he said, do, 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 do. He walked over there. He stopped. I'm scared as hell. I'm looking, but I'm still stroking. I you know, gotta see it through. Now that's crazy. Gotta see. <laughs> so it the back butt didn't just uh, bother, the, didn't stop any rotation. No, I didn't stop any. No, rotation. I just wanted to know if he's spending the night or not. So no, you, yeah. you sleeping over? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I told so you about bringing new niggas to this house. <laughs> oh, so oh, we gonna bite your ass too, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I was so scared, bro. Afterwards, I had like. I didn't have when I left. I didn't have anything on. Like I, I took everything off. Yeah, she could have had all every piece of clothing I got. <laughs> I walking out that. What was to? I had like um, these boxers, and then uh, when I as I went downstairs, she was like, "Just go grab my dad's shorts out of the washer." So I put on his shorts and then I, <laughs> no, I got them. Nah, nah, nah. nah. You disrespectful. You were dad's shorts. <laughs> yeah, them bitches was big as a bitch too. I was running; they was falling. Why are yeah. you running? Because I was scared as a bitch. Nah, I'm like, running Damn. out the house after the- bed bugs. Like I didn't know if my if one was gonna fall out somewhere, if it was gonna attack me. Bed bugs is ruthless, bro. Like they have a conversation with you, and the fact that they watch me have sex is just crazy. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> did, you go, did you go back? Hell no, I ain't go back. <laughs> and they got a threesome with some bed bugs. <laughs> I was telling everybody at school, I'm like, bro, if you clap her, bro, you better be careful. <laughs> Morning, a nigga of a bug bite is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that boy gave a whole review and then <laughs> the Keith Leader shit. <laughs> All right, All right I just went over Gabriella's house. Let's rate it one through ten. I got a question for y'all. What's the craziest conversation y'all ever overheard? The craziest one I overheard. Um, I was behind. I was in line uh, at Dunkin' Donuts. And I seen a dude get out the car, got out the passenger side, and then went to the driver's side, kissed his, kiss his girl, and said, I'm just walk to my crib. It's right there. And then she said, okay. She was like, you always get out right here. 
He's like, yeah, it's just, it just, it just easier for me to walk. That way you ain't got to drive through my parking lot. So I'm like, whatever. The line is taking all day. So I'm like, what the fuck, bro? So I get out of the drive through line and, and go park. And I walk in. And this nigga got on a, a, a Dunkin' Donuts shirt. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't want to let her know he was working at Dunkin' Donuts. That's what I'm saying. This nigga. He glazing her and glazing donuts. Like, <laughs> this nigga. I'm just saying, like, if you got a lot like that, that was crazy to me. <laughs> like, this nigga literally walked in. But she should already know. She's dropping him off all the time. She, stu- she don't want to know. <laughs> she know that nigga in there. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> is there a limit to the amount of times a girl can drop you off somewhere? Hell no. Hell yeah. If you land it down right? No. Yeah. Hell yeah. I don't care what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> You're not driving me around nowhere. So far. I can't even be, like, I don't even trust people driving. That's why you drive her car. And then you have her drive back. <laughs> I'm straight on that, too. <laughs> I, I actually be, don't mind anybody driving me. That'd be uh, that'd be awkward as hell. The dude pull up on you. What's up, babe? You roll down the window. Not today, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> My car, nigga. <laughs> At least you driving with the bedazzle steering yeah. wheel. <laughs> People listen to her music, <laughs> bro. I saw. Remember, I was starting. I'm uh, F R E E. Fuck, nigga. Her shit fire. Ooh. One of my friends told me, you know, told him to come through and stuff like that. And then you pull up to a neighborhood, and then you see all the cars got that little. Uh, I knew I was in the wrong neighborhood when I saw all the cars had the little steering wheel jack oh, on it. Oh, the steering, the, the, the so they can't steal it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, bro, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna park out here. <laughs> no, I, that's how I judge places. Though. Yeah. I, that's a, like, that's the first thing I look at is the quality of cars in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> if I got the most expensive car in the parking lot, then nigga, I'm not staying here for over an hour. <laughs> I'm sitting lick, walking that bitch. It's all um. Old school Chevy Camaros. <laughs> Not souped up. <laughs> Which got donuts on it. My shit is getting rocked. It was a Harley Fest out here not too long ago. So a whole bunch of dudes on motorcycles and shit. I saw like t- 10 motorcycle accidents or at least. Accidents? Yeah, like or maybe like two, but it was like, you know, like motor- the thing about people that drive motorcycles, they are like a, a collective. So one of them got into accident. It's like. 10 of them waiting with them to make sure everything's okay. Mm-hmm. Especially if it's by a normal car, they don't play that shit. Well, no, they'll jump you no, yeah. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> now you got to kill 10 niggas on bikes. <laughs> these niggas want to play. Nah, yeah, but the thing about the mo- people with motorcycles, sometimes they be acting like they not on a motorcycle. Like, bro, don't cut in front of me like that. That shit, like, sometimes, like, I get, like, a, there's a... There's a big percentage of people that don't know how to drive around motorcycles. Yeah. They don't pay attention. They barely check their blind spot for regular cars, so you mm-hmm. know they're not doing it for motorcycles. Yeah. But also, there's a percentage of, like, people on motorcycles that fucking, like, they'll whip in front of you and, like, expect you, like, they're expect- they think they're fast, but in reality, you're just lucky that this car didn't hit their brakes. You're like... One thing away from like, oh, this car just seeing something in front of them and hitting a brake slightly because yeah. you want to do all this zoom. <laughs> or you'll be like, let's say you're in a three-lane highway and this part nobody's supposed to drive on. You'll just see a motorcycle going down through there. Man, mm. I be wanting to open my door so bad. <laughs> I be hating like, this nigga getting through traffic like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, take that. Nigga. That's the one reason why I want a bike so I can navigate. Smoothly through traffic. I then you, speed race. Then you gotta thing. trust people. Some people be like, no, car- no, you gotta sit in this traffic like like everybody else. Hell Hell no. No. I be hating in Nigeria. Them. They do that shit. They I be hate- go through though. But. I be hating them bike niggas. That shit yeah. is annoying. So you want to act like a car the whole time until you get to the red light. Until you get to the red light, now you like putting your hand up like, no, nah, nigga, take this T bone, nigga, <laughs> <laughs> like a regular car, nigga. <laughs> Equal <laughs> rights, nigga. Equal <laughs> rights, nigga. <laughs> but think about it. You like, got insurance, nigga. I hate when they. Do do that and it's like you get to the uh the red light and then they get, start to drift off to the sidewalk and shit nah. and then get back on like bro follow the rules nah, follow <laughs> the fucking rules bro <laughs> but i'd be doing the same thing too i'm not gonna lie on a bike yeah, hell yeah i'd be zooming like my i'd bike. be damned that i stop at a red light hell no i ain't stopping at no stop sign <laughs> yeah. either, rolling through you see me <laughs> you gotta take my chances but i'm just telling the people that are on bikes that when i'm in the car yeah. just know you're taking your chance as well you gotta be you gotta be okay with that <laughs> But uh, I got another question for you. What is it? Um, all right. If you could replace war, if you could replace war with any physical activity, what would it be? 
Um, I want every so whatever countries go at it mm-hmm. instead of violence. I think they should do an athletic event, but I think you should have to take your fattest niggas <laughs> and make them and do an athletic event like a fat nigga Olympics. <laughs> Like, where's your fattest athletic niggas? That's what we want to see. So the guy has to be the biggest and the most athletic. Yeah, I say like, you know, like 350 and up. Yeah. And then we're doing 40-yard dashes, and we were, we basically doing track. You know what I'm saying? And then that's who, you know what I'm saying, who got the most hippos and bears? U.S.? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so we would lose? Who? The U.S.? No, we would win. USA definitely got the most like most athletic fat niggas in the world. You think so? Look at all the people, all the old linemen in the NFL, all yeah. them American, yeah. running four sixes. <laughs> what the, the Asian big people doing? Sumo, sumo. wrestling. Yeah, they so, not but running. They're athletic too, though. Sumo wrestlers are crazy. You ever seen a sumo wrestler do a left hand layup? <laughs> they might. I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> they're not doing shit. I'm trying to. Think. That is true though. I think American football is like one of the one sports where it's on. It's the American football is the only one that like encourages someone to be three hundred pounds. <laughs> yeah. Like no, nigga, stay three hundred. Yeah. That's why it's crazy when some of these like old linemen be like retiring and they lose hella weight. They lose hella weight because like, why am I this big? That is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> they be athletic as hell because though. it is kind of unhealthy for their hearts too. Sometimes a lot of them be having heart problems because you like you're basically. You have to have a certain amount of body fat. Aaron Donald's probably the, the exception for a D-line yeah, tackle. Yeah, his shit is... Where it's that like, nigga's lean. Yeah, where he's like a lean big dude. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a lot of big, big dudes. Yeah. They're athletic as hell, strong as hell. They pay, they playing 70 plays at the highest level in the world. Yeah. And you're like, damn, how do you keep that weight on? Like, what are you doing after? And then you're right. Then you see them after their career, and then they just do. Yeah. Strip down. <laughs> So they must have been keeping it up on purpose. Yeah, have to be, huh? Keeping up the weight on purpose. Oh, okay. Yeah. I appreciate you. No, no, hell no. No, 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 because I would think if, because I feel like when you say respawn, right, that means something like untimely happened, right? So I'm thinking something untimely happened. It's either somebody got the drop on me for some for one no reason, or I was in a, and that's why I'd rather be at Seven Eleven. Uh, get me a water because I can I can reassess my situation. Mm-hmm. Grab me a water, a pack of gummies, and then I walk out and be like, <laughs> I don't know, like nah, right. I'm petty as fuck. What? Respond me right where that shit happened. <laughs> <laughs> get it crack it again, nigga. <laughs> like, bah, bah, I told you we was gonna get that, nigga. Get who, nigga? <laughs> Pop up behind him, like, nigga, get who? <laughs> they were like, what? what? <laughs> 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 I'm trying to respond right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be fucked up. You die in the fire, nigga. Ah! <laughs> that shit was stupid. <laughs> Are there? You just keep hearing it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Are there any fights you would like literally respond back to that? You think the results can change with the knowledge you know now? Yeah, hell yeah! Like fights, like actually street fights that you've been yeah. in. When I was younger, what would change though? When I was like in a the knockout. third, when I was in the third grade, I had never got the wind knocked out of me. Yeah, so I was fighting this dude. We was tussling and shit. He punched me in my stomach, and you know, like I don't, the first time you ever get the wind knocked out of you, you think your life over because you're like, I ain't never felt this before. Yeah. So I'm like, ah, I dropped to my knee, like ah, he like, yeah, nigga, yeah, yeah. And then he walked away, like, ah. And then that shit go away. I'm like, man, this bitch ass nigga, bro. <laughs> if I could go back then, I'd just shoot that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think. Hey, know what I know about the court system? Nah, I'd be out when I'm 18. There, there's, one, there's one <laughs> fight. Play, play, there's, one, there's one I would probably go back to is when the dude, um, I was talking shit during basketball. I was a kid, and he was like probably like four years older than me. And he's like, you step back on this court, I'm, I'm beating your ass, right? Mm-hmm. So I step back in the court, and he cocked back with his fist and like landed like an overhand right on my ass. So now knowing what I know now, go back to that moment, slip that punch, <laughs> land a good punch. But then I just had to know, I, I don't know if I have enough power back there to actually knock a nigga out. Right, you going back in time <laughs> to get your ass beat even worse. <laughs> <laughs> he said slip, slip. Now they really beating your yeah. ass. <laughs> oh, that nigga hit me back. <laughs> 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 there's some, <laughs> there's some. I think there was one fight I was in where I knew if, if I won the fight too much, 
that I was going to get jumped. So mm. it was like, I literally was winning at first, and I was like, fuck, if this fight keep going my way, it's not going to end well for me. My brother never, my brother was the king of that, though. He would get in a fight and be beating niggas' ass, and then we have to start running back home. No, one time when I was in the 10th grade, our mutual friend, mm. he, uh, he had got into it with some dudes at the at the basketball party. Yeah. So I had already called him. He like, oh, come up here and hoop. Mm. So I came up there and hoop. I, I'm looking around the court. After I got to the uh, basketball court and everybody got their shirts off, they mad and shit. I'm like, damn, what's going on? So I started, you know, warming up, taking my shots and shit like that. They're like, hey, ain't your man so-and-so? And you know me, I'm always going to evaluate the <laughs> situation. I see a nigga with his shirt ripped off. This nigga look angry. And I was just like, who? <laughs> They're like, no, nah, no, nah, you know who we, <clears throat> and I heard he up and took off on yeah. the ass, and all I see is him at the top of the hill talking about <laughs> <laughs> So I'm sprinting to him, they yeah. chasing me and stuff, I barely got away, man. Man, them sprints away from, uh, the thing that was, I was always competitive for me was that, um, I was always good for me was that the niggas that always chased me were always like niggas that be smoking weed and just out of shape. It was never like the... Super athletic niggas that was trying to like beat me up and shit like that. So it was easy to get away from them. But it was just like if the actual hoopers, the nigga that had something going good for themselves, try to beat me up, then it'd been like it'd been kind of rough because they would have caught me. But it's usually the people that be chasing you, crackheads. Yeah, I got chased by a crackhead. Sometimes that shit kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you know they're not. It's, it's got that. It's like almost like skydiving. That that thrill. But you know there's a there's that chance that you might die, but there's like a high percentage you might not. Nah, cause this nigga, he only he ain't used his left hand in yeah. three years. <laughs> and it's like Cutting if he catch me. up to me and it really get down to it, then I might really beat this nigga's ass anyway. Now I remember this homeless dude used to um troll me, bro. He used to follow me to every baseball game because I had he asked for my uh hot Cheetos one time and I said no. <laughs> Then he was like, all right, you're going to regret that. And then every time I went to bat at a baseball game, he would be at that baseball field. Say, hey, son. No, he'd be, he'd be in the <laughs> background right behind the backstop saying, lean with it, rock with it, lean with it, rock with it, lean with it, rock with it. Right when I swing and I would miss, <laughs> and then he go, ah. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, that's why uh, that nigga living in a box now. Don't like, worry about yourself. It'd been funny if the homeless, <laughs> it'd been funny if he came to you, like your school and shit every time. Like, hey, son, let's go. <laughs> nah, that'd be crazy. <laughs> like, what's your daddy, a crackhead? <laughs> <laughs> that'd be crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. Anywho. That's been a um, a good podcast. Remember. <laughs> nigga just dubbed it a good podcast. Yeah, I thought it was good. It was, energy was good. I like this podcast. It was a good one. You, Make sure you subscribe, subscribe to the Patreon if you haven't for that man, extra pod. Sub. Get on that Patreon, that man. That Patreon. Stream. Stream. Stream Keys Music. Links in the bio. Um, stream uh, Pat's Music. Uh, links in the bio. <laughs> He's gonna go looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nah, that'd be crazy if you're an artist. I think people would try to flame your music all yeah, the yeah, time for no 100%. reason. Hundred <laughs> percent. I would di if I was an artist, I would just diss people that I think are gonna diss me in advance. <laughs> right away. <laughs> yeah, hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. Niggas gotta be ready. Nigga go pull the Joe Budden. Oh God. Joe Budden uh made a diss for um I think it was Drake when he uh <laughs> all he heard was that uh the snippet the pump 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 it up mm -hmm. and that song never really came out. Or it did yeah, came up, but it was no shopping. But I'm just saying, it was just a snippet before he uh, made his diss track. That's good, though. <laughs> it's a staying ahead of the curve. Hell yeah. <laughs> never know a nigga's on. But it's OVO podcast, though. It's just yeah, it's OVO. OVO for life. This has been episode one, 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 one,